welcome back to my channel and if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel that was awkward anyway I just thought I never say that and obviously I've seen that I have quite a few new subscribers so thank you so much for watching this video I am Georgie lovely to meet you so today I wanted to talk about getting through the winter months so in Australia we're just getting into winter. I know that's different in different parts of the world, but these tips still might be super relevant. Things get harder, it gets colder, you lose motivation, you're like constantly rugged up, so you're like, oh, why do I care what I look like? I'm getting hidden anyway. And yeah, so that all sorts to happen, and I've definitely noticed a dip in my motivation in the colder months it's harder to get up and I'm wanting comfort food but in saying that if you can get through winter and still move your body and nourish your body and feel good super cliche but obviously summer bodies are made in the winter so it is good to keep on track and keep on routine and that sort of thing but obviously I know it's hard so I just wanted to give you a couple of tips I have sort of implemented and do myself during the colder months Tip number one is to keep your eye on the prize. So this is just to keep your eye on your goals and to keep your priorities and goals present. How I personally do that, on my iPhone, you know, just the notes app, I have a list of just, I guess you could call them like goals and affirmations, things that align with me, things I want. And I read that every single morning. So I put a timer on my phone and it goes off and it says, read your notes. And then I go to my notes and I read them. For example, before my wedding, when I was on Wedshed, my notes said something like, I will look, I will feel and look amazing for my wedding in April. And I guess that's just like a morning reminder that, hey, you're on a goal for wed shed. This is your priority. At the moment, I don't necessarily have a body goal. I'm sort of just trying to maintain and feel good. Well, actually, I'll read you my mantra. I am thankful for my fit and healthy body. Today, I'm going to move, nourish, and appreciate my body. So that's super simple. And basically, in the morning, I read that. I know, hey, I'm going to make today count. Um, you know, this is the only body I've got to live in. Make sure I'm feeding it good foods, moving my body, making me feel good. It aligns you with exactly what you want your priorities and it kind of just sets the tone for the day i personally love it it centers me it aligns me and it just sort of gives you a refresh about what is important to you what goals you're trying to reach so my second tip is to switch things up so if it's too cold in the morning maybe try working out in the afternoon or vice versa if you get exhausted and tired by the afternoon which is me personally try and work out in the morning or in your lunch break try and switch up the type of training so if you're feeling super unmotivated maybe bored then maybe do you know take a class take a pilates class do something different change up your training like if you're just doing a lot of hit and you're not into it try strength training my third tip is get vitamin d so i uh, I've always heard like, you know, I feel like you would too, like studies and stuff like that, just saying how good vitamin D is and making sure you get a little bit of sun and that sort of thing. So at the moment, I'm basically working from home. I'm not in the law firm that I was, so I'm at home all day. I was taking my puppies for a walk in the middle of the day and I actually just noticed such a difference in my mood and also at the time I was on the verge of getting sick Tim was sick I was like oh my god I'm gonna get sick and I didn't get sick and I don't know and then I did some research and getting vitamin D is amazing it helps so it actually has so many other benefits but I'm just gonna go into the ones that I like so it helps so much with your immune system and also your mood personally since sort of like realizing that and actually feeling the effects i have now implemented getting 10 minutes of sun every single day so just 10 minutes so you're not getting burnt or anything like that but just letting the sun rays get on my body so <laughs> that sounded weird personally walk to gym and back 
walking to gym because it is early in the morning. It's usually a little bit too cold and the sun's not fully out, so I'll just keep my jumper on. But walking home, I will like take my top off, so I'm just wearing my sports bra and walk home just to get the sun on my skin. 10 minutes is like all it really takes. I have noticed the biggest difference, so I'm making that a priority where I get 10 minutes of sun every single day so obviously if you walk to gym or even if you like walking to your bus just taking your jacket off like I know it's cold but taking off getting some sun on your skin just for 10 minutes will make such a big difference fourth so tip is to plan ahead you guys know I'm so into my planning I'm like an organized freak I love it I love being planned and basically I have a weekly planner this and I will, at the start of my week, I will put stuff in my calendar, sorry, my weekly planner, always to do with workouts. Still now, I consider myself like a, you know, very into my fitness and stuff, but I still plan all my workouts. I don't know, just the fact of writing things down, visualizing, okay, Tuesday, I'm going to do this. It just completely changes my week. And I notice such a big difference on, you know, I do this on a Sunday. So the Sundays I forget and it doesn't really happen. My week is just like a little bit all over the place jumbled compared to when I do sit down on Sunday and write up my workouts and anything important. So much better. And during the winter's months, like this is such a difference that you can make because it is so hard. So just being planned and setting yourself up for the week just it does make such a big difference my fifth tip is to find healthy alternatives to your favorite winter foods very long winter comes i have noticed i'm really liking my comfort foods my hot foods they just tend to have more calories be more carby completely fine but obviously if you have some fitness goals it's not always going to work and you can find really nutritious healthy alternatives to your favorite winter foods that taste so good i've actually been experimenting with quite a few at the moment well actually i was going to make a youtube video about healthy alternatives like a winter food edition so if you do want me to do that like this video and i'll do something like that just yeah like i love like shepherd's pie and you know like that sort of stuff so there's honestly so many good healthy alternatives like just even google it or you know if you follow someone on Instagram or even here finding healthy alternatives to your favorite comfort foods can make such a difference because you can come home have your favorite foods not feel guilty and know you're eating a nutritious meal and now my last tip is to have a backup workout it is so easy in winter I don't know me personally like it's so easy to sleep in and just sort of get caught up in being comfy in your covers so what I personally do is have a backup home workout and this used to work really well back when I used to do F45 and there used to be like time classes I used to accidentally like sleep in and miss a class and it would just like ruin my whole day which was super annoying I'm just that person who likes to start my morning with a workout what I started doing is saving home workouts that I could do if I didn't have time to go to gym if I miss my class or something like that and honestly there are so many on Instagram personally I just like have a folder on Instagram you know how you can save videos and I have a folder and also I've saved some YouTube videos so when something happens and I've got to do a quick home workout I just go to that do my home workout, like 20 minutes, do some push-ups, burpees, you know, in your underwear, in your bedroom, super easy. And 20 minutes, like getting 20 or 10 or five minutes in at home is going, is better than nothing and is going to make you feel good and just sort of get your day going or just, you know, make you feel good and like you didn't miss a workout or you like you feel bad or anything like that. It's like a weird tip, but like have your backup workout saved, ready to go for when things don't go to plan so you have no excuses. Anyway, guys, those are my tips for staying fit and healthy during colder months. Like I said, it is super hard and I've definitely felt that dip in motivation. So these are just the sort of things I'm trying to do to sort of pet myself up, keep going and like keep on track. If you sort of maintain your body, you won't have to do any drastic losing weight or anything like that. So it's just good to stay on track during winter and honestly just... It will make you feel good. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, 
please like this video and also like it if, if you want that video about healthy alternatives like a winter edition because I think you guys would really like some of the recipes I've been making and also if you haven't can you please subscribe I'm so close to 50,000 subscribers and it would make me the happiest girl if I got to that not that it matters but yeah anyway I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night or whenever you're watching this love yous bye